Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Chris ICT and TV and description of Sabia. Today I will show you on how to give some tips using your Microsoft Word which you feel so frustrated in doing so because this is commonly used when we have our documents and we feel so tired of, of solving this. But today I'll give you a quick show on how to use the Microsoft Microsoft Word in just a moment. So hope you will take time to listen and have a and have a good time listening and watching. Please do not forget to subscribe and click the notici notification bell for more updates. So we have here, okay. In this way, we have to start with number one, how to remove frustrating lines or the paragraph border in MS Word because this is commonly used when, when our experience, when we have our, our way to go in making the Microsoft Word, especially when we have to post uh, some documents there and we find it hard to solve it. So this time we're going to make first here in this way. So commonly we, we will commonly we see commonly we see such this um, this line, and we feel it hard because we cannot uh, edit it, we cannot get it, we cannot uh, we cannot delete it automatically like that. It's already there. So this is what we call actually is this is what we call a page paragraph border. So how to remove this is first you have to highlight this, highlight that and go to this part so you have to click here the paragraph click paragraph then click no border so that's it so that's the number one on how to solve the how to remove uh frustrating like the paragraph a page paragraph border in the microsoft Word. okay so number two is we have to determine the complexity complexity of the readability of the text how are we going to determine the complexity of the readability of the text? So especially when we wanted to make sure that this, uh, this is uh, this that the text, the text that we have here can be read by what le what level, what grade uh, should be. And this time, so I uh, I here I search about the continental joke theory of Alfred Schwarzenegger. So we have to uh, know about this. So here in this way, you can identify. We have to click here, file, and say click options. So here we have to click here display proofing save language save is of access so we have here the advanced is of access language save proofing display so we have to go to proofing in proofing in proofing guys we have here show readability test statistics so we have to click this show readability statistics so when you check it out you have to click OK and after that proceed to here, proceed to view, review. Go and you go to review, when you go to review, you have to click spelling and grammar. When you check it out, spelling and grammar, there is no reading is. Why? Because it's not highlighted. So we have to highlight it first. Okay. You have spelling and Okay. So let's see. There's something wrong. You have to. You have to wait. So we have here. Okay, so we have here the reading is, the how easy it is when it's being read is forty two point six percent. The whole document that we have and the kind grade level is eleven. So eleven grade level. This is this is for a senior high school eleven with passive sentences of six point nine percent. So the, the, today we're going to determine that uh, that the word that you have uh, that you have the road that you have written search uh, is really uh, will um, take it to the level of learning of a, a certain student or a person when you are about to to read a certain paragraph or text. So that's how to determine the complexity of the readability of the text. Now let's go to number three. How to separate page with portrait and landscape orientation format because this is commonly used when we were so I mean, we want to search something that others are in a short form uh, portrait format and others are in the the landscape format. So this time, how to make a landscape format while others are in a in a in a in a short or in a, in a in a portrait format. This time, the second paragraph we will make it in a landscape format. So we have here to click insert home insert design layout you have to click the layout and click the brakes the brakes so when we click the brakes 
So we have to click the next page and after that highlight it and we will go to orientation landscape. So see, you have your portrait, you have your landscape, you have your portrait. So still, sir, it's still landscape. So this that, that part you're going to go back with the break next page and that is the now going to portrait so we have here portrait landscape portrait 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 so that is how to solve and how to separate page with portrait and landscape orientation format in a microsoft Word. now let's go to number four insert cells with number format so we have to make sure we can insert cells there we have to insert table insert go to table and this is how it is being done so we have to insert table here you, when you click it here it, the two will be also highlighted the upper right um, row so we have to insert insert columns to the left so we have here columns to the left so in microsoft excel we tend to make it in one then you can have it into two and so on when we drag it you can have it but this time there's only why we have we have to we have only to get like this highlight this first text if you want to put numbers and then then we have two okay, numbers if you want to like this with the decimal with the, with the period or just a plain one or everything that you wanted to it all depends on you so we have here like that. So at least you already know how to insert cells with a number format which you find it hard to do when you will be going to going to insert it in your own way. So number four is we have to number five is default fonts. How to get the default fonts is uh, we choose to have it like this. So we have to go to home, the font, and we have this. So we have to sure, for example, like this, other the pro. And we have it Aharuni, uh, size 20, bold italic. And you click here, set the, as default. And you will be asked this document only or to the next coming page, or next coming document. If you want to, next coming document, this will be the one. But this document, this will be only for this day. So we have to click this document only. So, so everything has changed already. Okay, so. So I hope you enjoy, I hope you learn a lot of things and how to, uh, as I give you the five tips and how to uh, solve your problems use, uh, using Microsoft Word, which is very important for nowadays, especially if you have your online classes, searching, research, uh, a lot of things to do. Thank you so much for listening. Have a good day. Please do not forget to subscribe. Chris ICT TV. Have a good day. Bye-bye.